the Bible says, and refused to obey. Neither were mindful of thy wonders that thou didst among them, but hardened their necks, and in their rebellion appointed a captain to return to their bondage. But thou art a God ready to pardon, gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and of great kindness, and forsookest them not. Here in the book of Nehemiah, as the remnant is trying to rebuild, the Levites are praising God. The Levites are leading this little remnant in the worship of God. The walls are being built, the foundations being laid, and they're having a service now to remember their God. And as they remember and rehearse the history of Jehovah's dealings with Israel, they recount all the awful things the children of Israel did despite their God's grace and mercy, refusing to obey, forgetting his wonders, hardening their necks, rebelling against their Savior. And yet, in all that evil, in all that unthankfulness, in all that rebellion, they're quick to point out, Thou art a God ready to pardon. Hallelujah. We have a God who is gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and of great kindness, who does not forsake his people. And as you try to rebuild today, your mind may go to all the things you've done wrong, all the times you've failed your Lord, all the times you were not mindful of his wonders, all the times you were a rebel and hardened your neck but you can rebuild on this cornerstone. Your God is ready to pardon. He's gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and of great kindness, and he does not forsake his people. That blessed truth, but a God ready to pardon, willing to forgive your sin, willing to throw it away, willing to put it in the sea of his forgetfulness, that blessed truth about your amazingly gracious and kind God is the foundation on which you can rebuild, on which you can restore, on which you can build back up the walls that have been torn down and reestablish the temple that the enemy has overrun. That even though you've failed, your God will never forsake you.